Hey guys, Christian here, and today we're gonna go over a fairly new update where you can add custom fields to your products, and of course, I'm gonna show you some examples at the end. Let's get started. <laughs> custom fields or meta fields enable you to customize the functionality and appearance of your Shopify store by letting you save specialized information that isn't usually captured by the Shopify admin. You can use meta fields for internal tracking or to display specialized information on your online store in a variety of ways. For example, a candle seller might want to display a burn time for candles on their product pages, uh, while a grocery store may want to display a product expiration date for canned goods. In our example, we're actually going to add uh, model information or size and information in a collapsible menu to the product page. So you can actually see that dynamic data on a per product basis, which you couldn't do before. All right, and then for those of you who don't know exactly what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you here in our Totally 90s Kit website. So I'm gonna click on the little eyeball here. I'm gonna open up and find one of our products. So I'm gonna go to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air and click on the yellow shirt. And when we talk about custom fields, if you think about all these right here, so the Fresh Prince Design D, this is technically a field. This is the title of that product, right? Uh, this is another field. This would be the pricing and so forth. So each of these things right here are technically fields. Now, what you couldn't do before was add custom ones, and that's what we're gonna show you how to do today. There's two ways to access the actual meta fields. I keep saying custom fields, but custom fields and meta fields are the same thing. But if we go here to settings, and you'll see that now we have a meta fields option. It's gonna be pretty fairly new. So uh, as you can see, some of the uh, options here are still coming soon. So there will be some videos in the future that we'll be talking about meta fields and how to use them for collections, customers, and orders. But for now, we have products and variants as the only options that we can add extra meta fields. So we're gonna go to products. And then in here, we can add a new definition. And then in here we can do, let's see, product um, sizing. Okay. The description, you can add a description if you'd like. Uh, this would be for, again, people who are inputting this information. You, they might need an extra description for it. So let's put product sizing information. And then you have the option to select the content type. Um, you have a lot of different things in here as color, date and time, file, JSON files, uh, measurements, number, rating, reference, text, true or false, and URLs. Uh, depending on what you pick based on these content type, it's gonna be the exact content. So if you pick URL, for example, you will have to type in a full URL for that custom uh, field to actually work. So in this, in this instance, we're just gonna do product sizing, so it's just gonna be general text. So we're gonna click on text for that one. And then in here you can do single line or you can do multi-line, et cetera. And then validation, you can actually uh, create rules. So you can have a minimal length, a maximal length, or uh, what the regular expression, there's certain keywords that need to be included uh, within that particular thing. I'm just gonna save this just for now just so we can kind of see what we're working with here. Now, typically when you go to your products, and let's go to the one that we were at, which is the this one, the yellow shirt. Just as I showed you those fields on the live website, the fields over here, you'll see the, the title, description, these are all different fields, the actual picture or media, the variants are all different fields. And then here towards the bottom, once we start adding custom fields or meta fields, you'll start seeing them populate right here. So product sizing, we have it in here and we can add information blah, blah, blah. and you see the description will show right here at the bottom it's a single line I'm click on save on that and now that we've saved that for that particular product now we're going to go back to our online store Customize. But before we 
keep going on. I want to say welcome to everyone new. My name is Christian Pignon, one of the co-founders here at BitBranding. We've been helping frustrated store owners since 2015 become impactful store owners through tutorials, tactics, and strategies. And one of the ways you can support our channel is by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications. Now that we're back here in the editor, we're going to click on the product page. I'm going to go to the default page. And then I'm going to expand on this. Oh, alert, custom alert, customer alert, caution, caution. Um, actually, we're gonna take a little break here. We're gonna go, we have to rewind and go back. Uh, this is a good, good learning opportunity here for us. In order to fully use the new meta fields, you have to use a online store 2.0 theme. These are newly created themes for this particular feature set and for additional features that's coming in the future. So if your store is not a 2.0 store, you will need to upgrade to a better, more updated theme, which we will be making a video on this pretty soon, talking a little bit more in depth about that. But since this theme right here is technically not uh, supported with the new OS 2.0, we're gonna click on exit real quick, and I'm gonna show you where you can find these new themes. Now, some of the old themes, they have updated their themes to have the new 2.0 stuff, but you have to actually fully click the button and uh, update it. And you will see a message right here at the very top where it will say, hey, this theme has a new version, please update, please do. Because it will include a lot of new features that you currently don't have. And they will keep adding more in the future. Now, um, I'm gonna see explore free themes when I click on that. And uh, yeah, in here, I believe that, yeah, the only one right now as a recording of this video, the only free theme is the Dawn theme. So you see it has a badge that says OS 2.0, but there are um, a few other ones. So I'm gonna click on both paid and free and have check mark the online store 2.0. You will see that some of the older ones, um, like Fret, Expanse, Streamline, uh, I remember Avenue is one of the old ones. Impulse, we use Impulse in a lot of our clients. Motion is another one. So all these older ones, they have upgraded them to the 2.0. And as you can see, the pricing has gone up a little bit on these. Um, this one's 310, this is 300, this one's 280. Um, but it's because they opened up the floodgates to truly have a custom experience um, when it comes to, to your themes. So for this particular website that we're doing here, we're gonna just do Dawn, and I think I have it uploaded already here. Let's see, yeah, Dawn is right here. So what we're gonna do is that we're actually gonna customize this one. That way we can kind of see what we're working with when it comes to these new meta fields. All right, so yeah, in here, we're gonna go and do the same process, go to products and default product. And then in here, you can see the difference. Um, the product information is actually broken down into each separate field, right? So potentially, if you wanted to hide the, I don't know, the title of it, you can literally just hide the title by clicking a button. Whereas before, it was probably a little bit more complicated and you have to do a little bit of custom code and custom work to it. Now, in order to add the uh, sizing information that we added, we're gonna click on add block. And then for this particular theme, the Dawn theme, it gives you a few options on what you can do uh, as far as the content. Typically, you may find that you just have the option for text. Um, but you do have some other ones in here. Um, I wanna do the collapsible tab because that's just additional information that doesn't need to be necessarily displayed right away. Um, and once we click on, as you can see right here, it's already been added. We can click on collapsible tab. And then the heading, obviously. So actually I've been saying sizing info, but what I wanna do is model info actually. So we're gonna do model info. And that way the tab content if you wanted to, if you only had one model for your whole store, then it doesn't make sense necessarily to do individual for each product. But if you have individual models or you have maybe use five or six different models, then having all those six different model information in there might not be the best thing to do. So um, for example, if I, if I start typing in something here, this is gonna be considered static text. So this something something that I added in here into the model info, it's gonna show for every product, no matter what. But because we've added that extra meta field, that custom field, we can actually connect it to that. 
So in here, instead of just typing something, something, we can click on the insert dynamic source. And then we have our product sizing already in here. So we can click on that and then insert it. And it will look something like that. So you don't necessarily have to type it again. You just have to make sure you type it on your product field when you're creating the product or editing the product. So now if we hover over this. Oh, obviously. So because this particular product doesn't have it, it doesn't show, but we had it on this one, I believe. Let's take the other shirt. We click on the model info, and then we have our information that we typed in previously. Now, before we keep moving on, I wanna tell you about our free masterclass training that will walk you through the five pillars that must be in place for your online store to scale consistently and profitably, no matter what's going on in the world. Make sure to check the link in the description below. Now, I also wanna say that we can get to the meta fields from here. So if we click back on the insert dynamic source, you'll see the at meta field, which will take you back to the page that we found through the settings. And so we're gonna click back on products and let's add another one here, product definition. Let's say that we were selling candles like we said in the beginning of the video. So let's say that this is the candle, like the burn time, right? So burn time and then the description. This is, this is how long candle burns. And then content type, we're actually gonna do a number. Right here. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna click save on that. I'm gonna go back over here. And then for this particular information, what we can do, let's add a new block. And then for this one, let's do just a text. So this would be always permanent right here at the bottom, but we can also move it around so we can click on it and move it. We're gonna click on that text block. And then in here, what we can do is we can say candle burn time, semicolon. Semicolon, semicolon is the, the two dots, right? Or is it colon? I never know. No, it has to be colon, right? I wanna look this up real quick. Colon. Colon is the two dots. Semicolon is the dot and a little thingy down here. Yeah, I want, I want the colon. Yeah, I want a colon. So in this particular case, we can actually combine static text with the dynamic data. So I'm gonna put the candle burn time colon, and then I'm gonna add, insert the dynamic source, and we can include that burn time in there. I'm gonna click on insert, but because we don't have that yet, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to our handy dandy store. We're gonna go to products. And then what, what shirt I am? Okay, it's product D, which is the yellow one. We're gonna go to this one. And we scroll down to the bottom and I will see the burn time in here. Now, just an example, because we selected a number, has to be an int integer. Um, if I type in, I don't know, free? Oh, it wouldn't even let me. So I'm typing, I'm trying to type something and it won't let me because it has to be a number. So let's say burn time is four. Uh, okay. So we can do four, save on that. Go back to our store over here. I'm gonna refresh this, reload. This might not save, but we can do that again real quick. So I got rid of it. So when I do add block, we're gonna do text. I'm gonna click on text block again, and then candle burn time colon. We're gonna insert the dynamic data, which is the burn time. So now we have our four over here. And then we can add something to the end again. So it's four hours, right? That's not a very long candle, but let's add a spacing in there. And boom, there you go. The only dynamic data in here is actually that number, that four in there. So that means that whenever people are inserting or putting in the products um, information, they can actually just put the number four and all the other information will be populated right here within the theme. All right, that's all we have for today. 
If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you wanna learn a little bit more about this meta field or custom field and how they can help you and your store and your product pages be more customized. See ya.